Hello and welcome back to Let's Talk by George. In today's video, we are going to review a latest update. That is right, our device have actually received a, an update for Pixel Extended ROM. Well, this is not the official update. This is an unofficial version. So first, let us try to see the uh, device information. So the Android version is 13. The extended version is 5. Or the maintainer is our friend Manish and um, the ROM is actually on the latest security update which is of 5th of January 2023 and the kernel version is 4.19.261 and yeah so that is about the device information uh, for pixel extended now we all know the pixel extended ROM it is actually a copy of pixel experience but it has a bit more customizations so the uh, quick settings is actually having the default layout and only thing that you can do in the quick settings is that you can move the brightness slider position from top to bottom so that is something that you are actually getting for the quick settings customization now the rom comes with the default gapps version so you can expect to have the google dialer as well as the google messages and couple of other google applications too there are two camera applications here so one is actually graphene os camera and the other one is the default aosp camera and the default gallery is google photos even though the uh, rom comes with the default g apps but it is not bloated with quite a lot of google applications now let us launch the settings page as you know the settings page is actually having the default user interface they have not modded anything on the um, on the settings page now extensions is where you can find the customization for the ROM we all are familiar with the pixel extended and I will show you what additions the ROM has made to the customization now the major addition to the ROM that you are having is the retigger option the option was not present in the previous versions so this is an, a new kind of addition to the ROM even I was actually waiting for the retigger option to appear in the pixel extended ROM apart from that you are having some status bar modifications like network traffic monitor so you just have uh, you don't have different sort of layouts or modes uh, to display just have this one mode system icons and you can enable the colored status bar icons um, which will require system UI reboot so basically apart from that you will have the battery status style uh, still not a lot of status styles has been added so there is actually brightness slider customization that's it and lock screen you are having the default customization for the lock screens and the other one is you can actually enable the pay uh, pair up volume control this is how the volume panel looks like in pex then gestures you can you are having default uh, um, customization option for the gestures system navigation you will have two button three button and gesture navigation and even the gesture navigation there is an option to enable or disable uh, gesture indicator and finally the full screen gestures also can be enabled then swipe to screenshot so basic stuffs are there then finally fingerprint success vibration fingerprint error vibration so basically um, let us go to sound and vibration and try to see if there is direct or anything like that no there isn't anything so um, this is my review about the uh, pex and the pex is actually using the default uh, google launcher so this is my review about the pex many thanks to manish for compiling the rom for our beloved devices and um, the rom is really great if you prefer to use a pixel experience rom with a little bit more customization definitely you can prefer to have pixel extended rom once again thank you for watching my rom review please make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and do not forget to press the bell icon thank you